everyone, I'm Angela from the Edmonton Public Library. Thanks for joining me for Baby Lap Time today. So Baby Lap Time is designed for babies up to 12 months old, but of course if you have toddlers or older kids with you, everyone is welcome to join in on the fun. We're going to do lots of fun songs and rhymes and I'll talk about how you can adapt and use them for different circumstances and contexts in your own life and in your own home. So hopefully we'll have lots of fun and learn a little bit about how to build a strong foundation for early literacy as well. Let's get started! So at the beginning of each class, we have to always sing a welcome song. And the welcome song today is called Up, Down, Turn Around. So for this one, I'm going to have my baby in my lap. You can have them facing out, facing in, or if you have an older child with you, they can stand and do the actions on their own. So this one goes like this. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your shoulders, say hello, say hello everyone. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Yay! Good job! You'll notice that I'll clap and cheer after every song. It's a great way to provide positive reinforcement for babies and to celebrate um, songs and activities that you complete together. Great job. Another thing that I like to do in every class is to learn everyone's name with a name song. So this name song is called Hip Hip Hooray. And I'm gonna sing the song with my name first, then my baby's name, and then we'll talk about how we are going to share uh, your names at home as well. So for this one, I'll start with my name and it goes like this. Angela's here today. Oh, Angela's here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray, hooray. And it's very important that we cheer really loudly after everyone's names. My baby's name is Tigger. So let's do Tigger's name. Tigger's here today. Oh, Tigger's here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray. Hooray! Good job. Now for the next two times we do the song, I'm gonna say you are here today, um, but I want you at home to say your own name. So you can do your name, your baby's name, or any other siblings' names as well. If there are more than two people in the house with you today, feel free to pause, get through everyone's names, and then come back and join me again. Ready? You are here today. Oh, you are here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray, hooray. Ready? Should we do that one more time? This is the sign for more. Ready? You are here today. Oh, you are here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray, hooray. Yay, good job, everyone. Next, we're going to do some songs and rhymes about our body parts. Talking and singing about body parts is a great way to learn new and important words. And they're also really fun because we always have our body parts with us. So you can do these songs anytime, anywhere. The first song we're gonna do is called Wake Up Feet. I'm gonna have my baby laying down for this one again, but if you'd like to have them in your lap or in a different position, that would work as well. So this song goes like this. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. What should we wake up next? What about our hands? Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. What if we wake up our baby's belly? Wake up belly. Wake up, belly, wake up, belly, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up, belly, wake up, belly, wake up and wiggle in the morning. What about waking up baby's ears? That sounds cute. Wake up, ears, wake up, ears, wake up, ears, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up, ears, wake up, ears. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Yay, great job. So that's a really simple song that you can sing with as many different parts of your body as you like and you can make it as long or short as you like as well. Great job. 
Um, we're gonna do a rhyme next. It's also about our body parts. I'm gonna keep my baby in the same position here. Uh, and this rhyme goes like this. These are baby's fingers and these are baby's toes. This is baby's belly button, round and round it goes. These are baby's eyes and this is baby's nose. This is baby's belly button right where I'm gonna blow. <laughs> Yay! That's a short rhyme, so I'm gonna do it one more time. I blew a raspberry at the end of that rhyme, but if your baby prefers tickles or bounces or lifts, feel free to throw those in at the end of the rhyme. Ready? These are baby's fingers and these are baby's toes. This is baby's belly button, round and round it goes. These are baby's eyes and this is baby's nose. This is baby's belly button right where I'm gonna tickle, 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 tickle. Yay! You'll notice that I touch my own face sometimes. You can always do body part uh, songs and rhymes with your baby so they can feel you touching them or you can always demonstrate those things on your features as well so they can see them on you. Great job. The next song I'm gonna sing is also about the bodies and it's called Where Oh Where Are Baby's Fingers. If you listen carefully, you'll notice the words to the song are almost identical to the rhyme we just did, but I think it's a great example of showing parents and families that if you don't like singing that much, you can always do the songs that we do as a rhyme. You can always take a rhyme, throw it on a tune and sing it as a song. Whatever your family enjoys best is what you should do. So this one goes like this. Where, oh, where are baby's fingers? Where, oh, where are baby's toes? Where, oh, where is baby's belly button? Round and round it goes. Where, oh, where are baby's eyes? Where, oh, where is baby's nose? Where, oh, where is baby's belly button? Round and round it goes. Yay, good job. That's a short song, so let's do it one more time together. Ready? Where, oh, where are baby's fingers? Where, oh, where are baby's toes? Where, oh, where is baby's belly button? Round and round it goes. Where, oh, where are baby's eyes? Where, oh, where is baby's nose? Where, oh, where is baby's belly button? Round and round it goes. Tickle, 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 tickle. Always add that at the end if you like. Yay, great job. Now that we've sung a bit about our body parts, let's do a song about our clothes. Is everyone wearing clothes today? Excellent. This song is called Baby Put Your Pants On. Um, we always get feedback at the library that this is a great one for getting dressed, getting ready to go outside, or if you're coming back inside, you can sing it a little differently and talk about um, getting undressed as well. So for this one, you can do signs if you're familiar with them, I'll do them. Um, or if your baby has clothes on or if you've got clothes on, you can always just um, point to that article of clothing as well. Ready? We'll start by putting our pants on. Baby, put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby, put your pants on, one, two, three. Baby, put your shirt on, shirt on, shirt on. Baby, put your shirt on, one, two, three. Baby, put your socks on, socks on, socks on. Baby, put your socks on, one, two, three. Baby, put your shoes on, shoes on, shoes on. Baby, put your shoes on, one, two, three. Baby, put your coat on, coat on, coat on. Baby, put your coat on on one two three baby put your hat on hat on hat on baby put your hat on one two three now that we're all dressed all dressed all dressed now that we're all dressed let's go play yay good job I have a couple more really fun rhymes that we're gonna do together. The first one is called Bicycle Bicycle. And maybe this is a good one as we get ready for spring in Edmonton. Um, so you can have your baby laying down for this one or you can do it as a bounce. I'll do it twice, so I'll do it both ways. Ready? Bicycle, bicycle, pedal slow. Bicycle, bicycle, to and fro. Bicycle, bicycle, pedal fast. Bicycle, bicycle, step on the gas. Yay! 
So those short rhymes are really nice because you can, you can pull them out in a crunch and use them anytime. So I'll put my baby down and let's do that rhyme one more time. I'm going to use Tigger's legs here as the bicycle. Ready? Bicycle, bicycle, pedal slow. Bicycle, bicycle, to and fro. Bicycle, bicycle, pedal fast. Bicycle, bicycle, step on the gas. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yay. Awesome job. I hope you liked that one. And if you did, we're going to do a very similar one called Giddy Up, Giddy Up. So now we're going to pretend our baby is riding a horse. So I'm going to put them back in my lap. This one goes like this. Giddy up, giddy up, ride to town. Giddy up, giddy up, up and down. Giddy up fast and giddy up slow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, whoa! Yay! Good job. Let's do that one one more time because it's really fun. Ready? Giddy up, giddy up, ride to town. Giddy up, giddy up, up and down. Giddy up fast and giddy up slow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, whoa! Yay, great job. Songs and rhymes with lifts or tickles at the end are really fun because as babies learn to anticipate them, They'll know what's coming and they'll be really excited to do them as well. Now that we've done a few tickles and lifts, I think we can only do more. So the next song we're gonna do is called the Tickle Monster. Spoiler alert, there's gonna be some tickles. I'm gonna put my baby in my lap for this one, but you can also have them next to you sitting down or laying down as well. Are you ready? This one goes like this. What you gonna do when the Tickle Monster comes? Are you gonna scream, ah! or are you gonna run? What you gonna do when the tickle monster comes? Well, you better decide right now. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yay. Good job. Did the tickle monster get you? If he didn't that time, he's gonna get you this time because we're gonna do it one more time. Ready? What you gonna do when the tickle monster comes? Are you gonna scream, ah, or are you gonna run? What you gonna do when the tickle monster comes? Well, you better decide right now. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yay, good job. All right, now that we're all tickled up, let's do another really fun and exciting song. This is one of my favorites and probably one of your favorites too. It's called the elevator song. So I'm gonna have baby in my lap for this one. You can have them facing in, facing out. And if you're a big kid, you can definitely go up and down the elevator by yourself. Are you ready? This one goes like this. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, then we turn around. Yay! Good job. Do you think we should do that again? And maybe we could do it a little bit faster? I think so. Are you ready? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Then we turn around. Yay! Good job. My arms are tired after that one. Now that we've shaken some of our sillies out, I think we should wrap up with a nice gentle lullaby. Lullabies are a great way to calm your baby down, help put them to sleep, and also just an adorable way to tell them that you love them. So this is one of my favorite songs. It's called On the Day You Were Born. And I'm just gonna hold my baby in my arms for this one. We'll do the song twice. Ready? On the day you were born, I felt my heart get a little bit bigger. On the day you were born, I felt it swell, swell, swell. 
On the day you were born, I felt my heart give a little giggle. And I knew it would be a better world. Yay, good job. I sing that song to my kitty all the time. Let's do it one more time. Ready? On the day you were born, I felt my heart get a little bit bigger. On the day you were born, I felt it swell, swell, swell. On the day you were born, I felt my heart give a little giggle. And I knew it would be a better world. Yay, good job. That's a cute one, hey? All right, we're gonna do one more song before we go because before we leave, we always have to do a goodbye song just like we do a hello song at the beginning. So today's goodbye song is the same song as the hello song, but we're gonna say goodbye instead of hello. So I'm gonna have my baby back in my lap. This is called Up, Down, Turn Around. Ready? Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Touch your ears and touch your eyes. Touch your nose and say goodbye. Say bye, everyone. Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Yay! Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you had fun. Remember that if your child doesn't already have a library card, you can register them for free online or in person at any EPL location. And if your child is three years old or under, the library card comes with a free board book as part of EPL's Welcome Baby program. Uh, if you like today's class and you'd like to see more, don't forget to visit us online at epl.ca or check out EPL's YouTube channel or Facebook page for more classes for babies and toddlers. Mm -hmm.